Hi, this is Steve in Nashville. I've been watching a lot of fish cleaning videos on YouTube, and for years I have cleaned fish with a Rappel flaying knife, up till about 15 years ago. Then they came out with electric flaying knives, and I just don't use these anymore. And I, there's a reason for that. You can clean fish so much quicker with an electric fly knife if you learn how to do it or what you're doing. And I'm going to show you how I do this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to time this because it takes so long the traditional way. Let me go ahead and fire this up. We'll get it started. There we go. We're rolling. What they normally tell you to do is make a cut behind the gill plate. <clears throat> One thing you want to do is you also want to cut, instead of cutting like here, cut here to get that meat that's up on the shoulder. They make a little bit of an incision down the back, next to the to the backbone, and you'll see them when they get past the rib cage. They shove straight through here, out the other side, and then cut down to the back, and in some cases clear out. Then you hear that as it runs along the ribs. Then they run them down like this here work your way down around the rib cage and in almost every video they say and there's not a lot of meat down here and they're exactly right <clears throat> so once you get down to here then they cut that that down next to the backbone right off and there's your fillet without a rib cage in it and do the same thing on the opposite side they make a cut behind this gill plate here I kind of give it a little bit of a head start down here so it kind of helps it so to speak. They put a, a cut up the backbone right alongside the dorsal fin and as they cut down here on the crappie they get just past the rib cage and they shove it right straight through because the rib cage only runs to about here. Then they stay down back to close to the backbone and cut right off the back like this. Then cut like this here. In fact I was watching Hank Williams Jr. down in Nashville. They go fishing all the time and then he's got some guys that clean fish and I'm watching these guys clean fish 90 miles an hour and I'm thinking you're wasting meat because you're not getting everything around the the rib cage, but there's not a lot of meat there. Okay, now we got these two, and that's your finished product there. Then they always dig with their fingernails like this here and try to hang on to the fillet and cut down like so. <clears throat> there's one, and see if I can pick that up or not. This is the second one here. Okay, and there we go. Now that's done, and our time is two minutes and 57 seconds. Basically, three minutes to clean that crappie. There's our clock, 2:57. Okay, now we're going to reset it, and we're going to clean a crappie with an electric flay knife. Now this is a Rapala, which is a pretty nice, nice quality flay knife and <clears throat> what I use for years and it's a great one it's very inexpensive they're about $24.95 at Cabela's or Bass Pro it's Mr. Twister and you'll recognize them because they're green I mean they're chartreuse green and, and a light lime color they got maybe one or two lengths of blades electric plug-in you can also buy them with battery packs and they work great I just happened to buy this wrap look because it was on sale one day it was about 40 50 bucks in good quality <clears throat> so one more time it took three minutes to clean that crappie the conventional way with one of these. Now I use Rappel and I love Rappel. I just didn't, I couldn't find mine, so I used whatever we bought at the garage sale here. Now I'm going to explain what I'm going to do before I do it. When you fillet a crappie, instead, make sure you don't just cut. You want to get behind the gill plate, obviously, but instead of going like this, you see this meat up here, you're missing that. So you want to turn your knife sideways because this is the main meat, what they call the shoulders, comes up here. Not very much here, 
quite a bit of meat down here but mostly up along the top in there <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and start this start our clock here okay there we're running I'm gonna stop short of cutting it off lay it out the back flip it over again I'm getting that part right there this is the important part of the blade that's close to the backbone Walk her down, stop, don't cut all the way. I pull this part underneath and flip that over. <clears throat> you can read a newspaper through this, there's no meat on there. Then I'll take out the rib cage on that one and that one right there. <clears throat> and there's our two fillets. Just like that, and that is 55 seconds. Instead of taking three minutes to clean one, it takes one minute with an electric flan knife. And, okay, I can do the same thing with a bluegill. Just cut behind there, take the tip of the knife, and follow the backbone. This is the most important part. Don't worry about this down here so much. Flip it over. There's that one. Flip it here. Now remember, we want this part, so the back part of the knife now is the most important part. I want to get that right down by that backbone. I do want to keep this above this, but mostly this is the meat I'm worried about. I want to make sure I get that meat. Stop short. I lift it up and fold that other one underneath there. Flop it over. Cut it off there. Best thing to do is just zip it right around like that. And same thing with this one here. And you've got your finished product. Whether it be a bluegill or crappie, either one only takes just a moment to do it. Now, those were standard size crappies, and this is what we've been hauling out this morning. Look at these hogs. These are some big females that are moving in to spawn. That is a hoss. Now I'm going to show you something that I like to do when I see that there's a puffy belly right here. I know that's a female. Again, I'm at an angle. I want to get this meat up here. Come up, go down around. Then I'm going to make a little incision right here. And I'm going to reach in there and I'm going to pull those eggs out. Okay, those are crappie eggs. I'm going to make, continue a little incision right here. Again, the tip of the knife is the most important. I'm chopping through the rib cages, the one that everybody else wants to do surgery around, flop that over like that, cut that one off, flip it over. Now the most important part is on this side right here, breaking through the rib cage. I'm busting through this rib cage right here, this, but I'm not going through the backbone. I'm staying above the backbone until I get to right there, pull this skin underneath, flop the other fillet over. And I make sure that this knife stays down nice. I don't care about over here so much. Make sure that it gets over there so when you turn it over, you're right down to the bare bones. Again, big crappie, nothing left there but bones. Now, if you're really worried about that little thin piece of meat on the back side of this rib cage by going around with your knife, you can do the same thing if you tilt your knife up like this on the bigger fish and slowly let your knife do the work and just kind of lift underneath these ribs like this here. If you want to take the time to do that, you can do that and save most of the belly meat so you get your full fillet like this as opposed to say a fillet like that where it's cut out. But it's so paper thin it's not even really worth messing with. So when I was up there and watching all those guys clean all them crappies for Hank Williams Jr. When they get done, they, they just go zipper over, turn the corner, go up there, and they're done. And I got a little piece right here, obviously. But that little piece should be hanging on there like that. And that's what they do. They just go zip, zip, and whip it right in and out of there and got all the, all the meat of all the fish. Now, why did I take those crappie eggs out? Because I eat them, and so do a lot of other people. I know you're probably flipping out saying, you got to be kidding me, but I'm not. Got in here, and when you batter them up and cook them, make sure you got a lid. 
because they pop and raise cane and go all over the place. But you just take those, wash them off with a little cold water, okay? I just pulled them out of there. Roll them in your breading mix like you do, you know, we have Shotgun Red's Catfish and Crappie Breading Mix. You can find it at shotgunredfoods.com. And you roll them in there after you rinse them off a little bit, and man, you talk about good eating. They are absolutely delicious. Obviously, you have to acquire a taste for them. I've been eating them since I was a little kid, just so you didn't think I was kidding you. Here is the fish eggs, and they kind of burst open at the end when you fry them, deep fry them in breading mix. And I'll tell you, you got to cover them up with a pan or a screen or something, a lid, because they will pop in the grease and pop. And they raise cane and kind of puff into almost like little balls. But that's the fish eggs inside, and I'm telling you, Mmm, the flavor is spectacular. Tell you've had crappie eggs, don't knock it. Well, let's get back to the flam. But this is the quick way, unless you want to spend three minutes on every fish, go get yourself one of them little Mr. Twisters or a nice raffle like this one here, electric flam knife. You can also cut up the turkey at Thanksgiving with it. Make a little cut like that, make a little cut like this here. Take that little corner out. There's the filet. It's done, totally boneless. You don't have to worry about taking the time to do that. I just take the tip of the knife, cut back up that direction, and it zings it right out. There's a the filet. Probably 30 seconds on that. Once you get trucking, man, you can really just pop them filets up. Again, layer down. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save these eggs because I like them. I'll pull them out of there. Stop. Flip it over. We're gonna make sure the tip of the knife stays close to the skin on that side. Well, this the side's got all the meat right there. And this is been my advice of how I like to clean crappies. Hopefully, it'll work out good for you. You won't have to do that. And here's the thing. You can clean walleyes, bass, northern pike, everything. Everything I get, I don't care what it is, I go down, make sure I go at an angle to get that meat up by the head, go down, flip it over after, I always leave the skin on, flip it over, cut it off, and then cut the rib cage out. And that's the quickest and fastest way in the world. You can do it this way too. See, this is almost like a full fillet if you get good at it like that. Cut it like this here and just kind of push over and it'll keep just almost all the meat but it's that's like that's my little six gun that is the quickest way in the world or you can spend three full minutes ten crappies will take you a half hour or now you can show my face again babe thank you very much or you can go ahead and get yourself an electric flan knife and zip them out like that hope you have a lot of good luck with it and this is Steve in Nashville saying check us out at shotgun red foods dot com or cooking with shotgun red on youtube talk to you soon bye